Yes, people, what is happening? Welcome back to Lily White Lane and welcome to your latest Tottenham Hotspur transfer news that we're going to bring to you on this beautiful Tuesday afternoon. Perfect weather, in my opinion. It doesn't need to be too hot. Doesn't need to be 27, 28 degrees, as I say, but at the same time, it's not too cold. I'm a person, in my opinion, who likes 20, 21 degrees, as I say, with, you know, loads of sunshine outside when it's not boiling hot, when it's not sweltering, but at the same time, it's not freezing cold. Perfect summer weather. But anyway, you're not here to hear me give my opinions on the weather in the UK, as I say. You're here to listen to me give my opinions on the latest Tottenham Hotspur transfer news and bring to you guys the latest Spurs news. So without further ado, let's delve right into it. So we will start things off on this Tuesday morning, as I say, discussing a Dharma Triore. More developments in this transfer saga with Wolves right winger, a Dharma Triore. Uh, we were now hearing, as I say, this Tuesday afternoon from Ryan Taylor Sport, and they state the Wolves have already lined up a replacement for Spurs target Triore in Guedes. Very, very interesting developments into this story, right? We knew that we were being linked with Trior as soon as that game finished with Wolves. As I say, we could clearly see that Paratici and Nuno wanted Trior, especially Nuno, because you have to look at it from a standpoint as he's worked with Trior before. He knows how good Trior is. And as I say, he's an absolute class player, in my opinion. I, I understand a lot of the criticism he gets for his end product, but at the end of the day, he doesn't have any service. He has to make the chance for himself, as I say, after all this brilliant skill that he does. And once he finally gets in the box and gets his chance, he's so knackered and out of energy to put it into the back of the onion bag because he's done all the running for his team, especially last season, right? But apart from that, I think he's very, very creative. I think he adds more speed and pace to our team, as I say. Him and Tanganga linking up on that right-hand side is the stuff of dreams, man. So look... I think it could be a very, very interesting, uh, very, very interesting move for Spurs. We heard on Sunday evening, as I say, that we've been linked with Triori. Then Monday morning, as I say, yesterday morning, we were hearing more developments in this story that it weren't just links anymore. That Paratici is looking to make calls, as I say. There's more developments, and now this morning, Wolves lining up a place, uh, a replacement. Could that mean that Wolves are willing to sell Triori for maybe less than forty million, as they do want to bring in Guedes? We'll find out more in the coming days. Make sure, as I say, to tune into the channel. Smash the subscribe button. Tap the notification bell so you'll be notified of all the latest Triori news and Tottenham Hotspur news. But anyway, enough about Adama Triori. That brings us on to our next story this Tuesday afternoon. And this one's very, very interesting as well. We heard that Spurs were being linked with more strikers. And now we're hearing that Tottenham Hotspur are interested in Porto forward Luis Diaz. We've heard it before, as I say, we heard it in January, we heard it at the beginning of the summer transfer window, and now we're hearing it again. This comes, as I say, from Bruno Andrade, quite a reliable source, in all honesty. And look, Luis Diaz, is he what we're looking for, as I say, as a proper target man up top, whether Kane leaves or doesn't? I personally don't think so. I don't know if he can fill the gap. Now, he knows how to put the ball into the back of the net, but he has nothing apart from that. You know, what passing-wise, is very inaccurate. I don't think he's what we're looking for as a striker, especially if we are looking to keep Kane and have someone who can play alongside him. We should be looking more for the likes of Ollie Watkins, for example. You know, a proper target man, someone like that. He doesn't have to be from the Prem. He just has to be a proper target man. So, look... Very, very interesting news there. Let me know what you guys think in the comment section below about this deal. Do you want Luis Diaz at Tottenham Hospital? Or do you think, like I do, he wouldn't really fit into the squad? Anyway, let's move on to our final story this afternoon. In uh, Fenerbahce in Turkey, are keen to sign Moussa Sissoko. Obviously, we've been hearing for weeks that Moussa Sissoko has been linked with a move away from Tottenham Hotspur and does want to move away from Tottenham Hotspur. So, it's, it, you know, it suits all parties. It suits Sissoko, his family. It suits, as I say, Tottenham Hotspur, Daniel Levy and Uno Spirito Santo. I think it's a perfect move, especially if we can make a few bob out of it, especially if we can make a bit of money at this deal. 15 million, as I say, you can go to Turkey. We can use that money to invest in a new, you know, a new striker with some of the extra money, to use that money, as I say, if we can get this deal over the line in the coming days, to add to the money we're looking to purchase Triore for. So look, Sissoko potentially moving out of the club, Triore once again linked with Spurs, and Luis Diaz, quite a surprise to see him there. 
But there we go, ladies and gentlemen. This has been your transfer news, as I say, on this Tuesday afternoon, whenever this video does go up. Thank you for watching, and as always, come on, you Spurs!